Hello and good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Hello, teacher. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I want to get right into class today because I want to give you guys as much time as possible to do today's activity. Today we're going to work in our teams working on our performance task that's going to be due this Friday. You'll have all day Friday to complete the task, but hopefully uh, with the time that we spend, some of the time in class and any time outside of class that you need to, uh, that you can finish hopefully earlier on, on Friday and not have to complete it at the end of the day. Today what I'd like to do is look at the document uh, that we started yesterday. And in the chat, I'm going to post, let me open up the chat here. In the chat, there's a key phrase called working document yesterday we started a document that we uh, that we were discussing I didn't get a chance to speak to everyone but uh, today we're gonna work continue to work in this document and I would consider this document as being a working document what do you think the term working document means in this case any ideas Uh, with this document, we are going to we are going to work uh, uh, with yeah with this document. All right. Um, okay. And can you can you go a little bit deeper into what makes what would make this document considered a, a what would you consider a working document? I mean, I, I can say that we're that we're going to work in this document, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the same as being a working document. What characteristic of this document makes it a working document? What do you think? Mm. Any ideas? No. A working document. So we started this document yesterday, and some of you were putting or including some specific ideas about your topic. And I mentioned yesterday that today we would work in our teams and that your ideas might change. You might decide... Uh, instead of talking about Marilyn Monroe, you might decide to talk about some other actress or some other model or some other famous celebrity. So the term working document, and this would be a perfect example of a working document, is it's a document that changes as you are developing your ideas, as you are deciding, in this case, what you're going to present and how you're going to present your ideas. And so this is a document that is considered a working document because today in your groups, you're going to continue working and discussing your topics, both what you're going to do individually and how you're going to come together and present collectively your final video. So today, what I would like to do first is for each of you to go over your comments that you included yesterday. Please take a look at the comments. I went in this morning and left comments for everyone who included who state who included information in the document. Take a look at my feedback and take a look what you have. And I would first go and make some changes first to what you have here. Again, the idea with this list is for each of you individually 
to think about and state what a good performance, what a great performance should include. And the key to this exercise is for you to be specific. Now, what do I mean by specific? Well, think about examples. Think about instead of holidays, right? Because there are a lot of holidays that you could include in your presentation. You're probably only going to include one. In fact, I would suggest that you only talk about one holiday or one famous person. Because remember that you're going to be connecting your ideas, your famous person, your uh, celebrity, your holiday with the other topics of your team. And so, in mo like in most cases, it's best to talk more deeply about less things instead of trying to talk about a lot of different things very lightly or superficially. We want to talk deeply about the one thing that you that you chose ideally so here in this exercise here in this document we want to list what you want to talk about think about specifically how you want to organize your ideas about that person about that holiday about that food item right Foods might be a little bit different because you have ingredients that you can talk about, right? You're going to talk about the ingredients of the dish. You're going to talk about how to prepare it. And then you can talk about some cultural aspect that links to that, right? And so think about how you would organize your ideas, about how you would present your ideas in a way that you consider would make a great performance. What makes information clear? What makes information complete? So instead of using words and phrases like clear information or complete ideas, provide an example. What would make ideas complete in your particular case? You're going to talk about Death's Day or the Day of the Dead. How would you... Uh, what would you include for you to think or someone else would think, okay, this is complete. I have, I have stated specifically and completely the ideas about this holiday. Right? So again, think about examples. And this is what I'm looking for in, in this document. So I expect today that all of you, probably most of you, will probably after or as you're talking with your team come back to this list and make some changes i would suggest first though again as i mentioned start and make some some changes to your text in most cases and try to be a little bit more specific i want you to think specifically before you start talking with your teammates Again, you can change your ideas. You can change your mind as you're discussing with your teammates. But I want each of you first, individually, to be thinking specifically about how you could present your ideas. What you think might be a great performance, right? Before you start talking with your teammates. And then use that to provide examples, to share that with your teammates and then through negotiation, through compromise, through discussions of what you're interested in and how you can tie and relate your three ideas together as one team, then you make your final decisions about your particular part of the presentation. All right, remember that the three aspects... Remember the three aspects. We have fashion and celebrities and famous celebrities as one. Traditions and holidays is our second topic. And recipes, food, and culture is a third aspect. All right? The idea, the goal here is to try to link, create a thread, a common thread that links these three together as you're working together as a team. All right? You want to try to tie this in together as much as possible all right so as you're discussing once you've made your ideas more specific here from this list talk with your teammates begin thinking about how you're going to prepare your video and
And as you're making decisions or after your discussion with your teammates, come back to this list and make any changes that you feel that you need to. Again, if you change your mind, that's perfectly fine. You don't need to ask for permission. You just decide as a team and you decide what you want to present. Just make sure that this list remains current. Make sure that this list remains updated, right? Because this will help me also to see what you're thinking about and I can, you know, if need be, I can offer feedback. This helps me help you as you're developing your ideas to provide feedback if you need it. Instead of not knowing what you're doing until the very end and then saying, oh, well, change this, change that. Or, you know, the idea is to try to offer feedback when you need it. So again, please check first this list, check my comments. I left comments to everyone. And um, there are a couple of examples here that I think that they have a good start. Alexia has a good start, number 20, right? That she is, she's being fairly specific, right? She's talking about she's going to include a reason or, or um, why someone is famous, okay? She might decide later to update this and be more specific in the way she organizes her ideas, how she's going to plan on presenting these ideas, and she might even be more specific or maybe reduce the number of people that are going to be famous. Because again, it's best to talk more deeply about less things, right? So instead of listing a lot of famous people, maybe it's one person. Okay, and, and we can talk more specifically about that one person. All right, so if you have not added information, of course, please do that. Uh, this is very important that you receive feedback from me before you start discussing with your teammates your your topics and your ideas about about this pres this um, ab yeah about this performance task. Now the last thing I'll say before we jump into uh, today's activity, I mentioned using a sway. Um, what I mean by using a sway, I, I want to suggest that you can use a sway if you want in your performance, not so much as your final product, all right? So your final product, the only thing I'm going to ask for is a video, okay, a video file. And that video file, I'm going to ask that you upload to week eight in your respective groups, right? So group one will go under files, create a folder for this week, week eight. And the final video can be uploaded to that space, okay, to that folder. All right, so you don't have to create a sway. You know, you can use a sway to help present your ideas, Okay, but I'm not going to make using a sway um, required. Okay, so you can decide if you want to use a sway or if you do not want to use a sway. Uh, the main thing is to think about how you want to present your ideas. And as I mentioned yesterday, you are free to create a video like you've done in the past by recording an online meeting in Microsoft Teams. Okay, you can continue creating videos in that way, or you can you can find another way to create a video. It's up to you. Uh, you can create uh, the, you know, you can decide how you want to present your ideas. It would be good, I think, to share a video of yourself speaking in the video, okay, as opposed to just looking at an avatar or just looking at a screenshot, if you're sharing your screen, at some point, it would be nice to include a video of you speaking in your final video. All right, guys. So let's begin with the document here. I'll be online here. Now's a good time to ask questions if you're not sure about how to make your topic 
more specific or if you need more examples, now's a good time to do that. Just jump right in, unmute your microphone, and ask away. Any questions, guys, about today's activity? Teacher, I have a thought. Um, we have to focus on Mexican culture. Uh, I mean, for example, food. We have to choose a Mexican food and a famous Mexican person, or we can do a, um, another country. You can choose whichever uh, culture. The topic is, is wide open, right? So you can choose... The celebrity, you can choose the culture, you can choose the food, the, the type of food, right? The only thing I'm, I would ask is that as a team, that there's a common relationship between the three, okay? So, for example, I would suggest not choosing, let's say, a recipe uh, from Mexico and then a celebrity from another country that has really no ties to Mexican food, and then, you know, a, a, a holiday or, or some other fashion that's not related. You know, try to relate the three topics. But, yes, you can choose any culture that you wish or any food type that you wish. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. One thing also, guys, that I, I didn't mention. In this outline, and I, I'm mentioning it as comments, I think m some of you are talking about or reflecting on what makes a good performance in terms of how you prepare, right? So some of you are saying, um, we, I need to find valid information. You know, I need to uh, find really good information from valid sources. I need to create a mind map to organize my ideas, uh, to work together with my teammates, and so on. And all of those things are true. But for this particular list, I'm limiting what I'm the focus on the actual performance, that is the outcome, or what you're going to do in, in the video, like something that can be observable that I can see just by looking at the video. All right, so make sure that for, for this exercise, for this list, try to include more of the final performance, the final video. Right, so again, think about how you might organize your ideas, what you plan on including specifically, and how you plan on organizing your ideas. Some of you are mention mentioning the question words, right? So I'm in, this is the what. I'm going to talk about this. How am I going to present it? I'm going to present it this way. First, I'm going to present this, and then this, and then this. But very specific examples, right, of how you could present it. Right, all of this could change, and I understand that. But I want you to think, think uh, specifically first before you talk with your teammates, and then you can change your mind. You can say, "Well, instead of this, I'll talk about this," or the organization might change. Instead, maybe I'll talk about this first instead, or and so on. That's fine. But I want you first to be thinking specifically about the outcome, the the uh, the end product, right? The the final video, what it's going to look like, what can be observable, and try to include those aspects in your list of what's going to make a great performance. Okay, This is going to be in addition to what many of you have already mentioned about the importance of finding valid information, which is absolutely true. Right, Working together with your teammates right, and, and maybe making mind maps for yourself. Right? And if you're talking about including mind maps in your performance, that's great. That's fine. Okay, but make it clear. Make it clear how you would present that mind map, you know, in your performance. Okay, that's that's certainly fine. That could be a part of your visual presentation. 
the images, what would make a good image? You know, what, what kind of images are going to be best for your particular performance? Some images are better than others. So this is also uh, will help. This will give you an opportunity to share specifically what aspects of a good video, I mean, of a good image, a good photo or an image is going to best serve your final performance. If you guys are able to open up the document onto your computer using the app, it might be easier to see some of the comments. Because I have so many comments here, you'll notice that it doesn't show the entire comment <clears throat> unless you hover over it, the, uh, each of the comments, right? So if you're looking at my screen now, you'll notice that as I scroll over each of these, it's going to select... It's going to select the person that applies to this comment, and also it should pop up what the uh, what the comment is. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the same when you're working uh, in the browser. Okay, but you know whatever works for you, right? The main thing is that you're able to find your your comment, right? So again, you'll notice here I have a lot of comments, so I have to kind of scroll down to see. Which one? If I click on it, it will open up, of course. You can also do that. Um, but, yeah, just experiment. If it's easier to open it up on your, on your computer, then try that. If it's working for you and you're able to do this in your browser, of course, that's fine too. So, Diana, in your case, try to state why this is important. If you're to, or the person, uh, if you're focusing on, let's say it looks like you're focusing on the the holiday, the death's day, or the day of the dead. Um, include what what's the importance? List a, a th two or three reasons why this is important. And then how would you present that? Like you're talking about um, when it's celebrated, right? And you're asking, what about this day? So think about the order. How would you organize your ideas? What are you going to talk about first? What are you going to talk about second? What are you going to talk about third? And think specifically like examples of what you're going to present. And that might include... Reasons. That, that could also include reasons, but state the reasons. State a couple of the reasons. You don't have to state all the reasons, depending on how many you're planning on including, but just a few examples of the reasons and, and uh, you know, when it's celebrated. And again, think about the order, the organization of how you want to present uh, some of your ideas. Okay, teacher.
Okay, uh, Pauline, if you can hear me, if you can unmute your microphone so we can discuss uh, the activity. Not sure if you can hear me. There you are. Can you hear me, uh, Paulina? Yes. All right, let's take a look first at your uh, recipe here, number 33. And yes. all right, so find a good recipe all right, that defines Mexico. So this is, uh, this is the idea that I would like for you, if you can, express in detail in this statement. So instead of saying find a good recipe to define Mexico, you mentioned mole. All right. So what aspects, what are one or two points or, or aspects that make mole uh, or defines Mexico? How does this recipe or how does this dish or this, uh, yeah, this recipe, how does it define Mexico? What are, maybe there's some uh, foods that are or ingredients that are representative or that are part of making mole that right that have either a cultural aspect or a dietary aspect but try to include those examples you don't have to include everything but maybe two or three specific points about the ingredients that uh, are included in mole this recipe that are maybe traditional or representative of the Mexican culture. Okay. Uh, put information about the mole representative. All right. And, and then how to prepare it. Um, you can maybe think about like, how would you, how would you discuss preparing it? Like what specific aspects about preparing mole? Again, you don't have to go into great detail, but try to mention one, maybe two things that are three, two or three ways of preparing it that you would include in, in your presentation. Okay. In your uh, final presentation, the images, like what kind of images are going to be best for you to include in this particular performance what kind of what what would make a good image of of mole right again just trying to be more specific maybe it's a you know a, a way of showing how to prepare mole or maybe it's how to uh, an image that shows you know uh how it's eaten <laughs> you know whatever you want to think about like what would make a good image for you of mole for this particular performance. That's that's kind of what I'm I'm after. And each one of these aspects that you've included, I think you have an opportunity to offer one or two, maybe three specific examples of how you want to present. Uh, another way to look at this also is to state the order in which you plan on presenting this information. Right, and maybe you, I don't know if you've done that already, but it looks like you have. You know, I don't know if you're going to talk about why, or maybe what the the aspects are, and then why it's important, and then how you prepare it. Okay, I, yeah, I don't know, but think about how you want to organize your ideas, and you could also include that in in this statement. Okay, so, so I think. Mm -hmm. Um, for example, um, I need to put like, like what I do here, like find a good recipe that define Mexico and then say what recipe I choose. And then like what I put, put information about why is mole representative and then put like, why is it like. All right. All right. So, all right. So l l let's simplify this. All right. So you don't have to. You mentioned some things just now that I don't think you need to include, all right? The things that stand out for me that you've included here is stating maybe uh, specific ingredients from this recipe that you want to include about mole that maybe is representative or common in Mexican culture, right? Maybe it's a type of chile. Maybe it's a type of... Uh, if you're you're using a certain type of chocolate or something, you know maybe that's 
part of, you know, that's something that you could list here. Okay. You don't, you don't need to list the, the recipe. You just, just go right into the types of ingredients that are representative of Mexico, since that's what you're saying here. I think this is interesting, right? And you can, you can share that. Um, and that's also part of the why, why it's a representative, right? And, and so you, if you think about why mole is representative, choose one or two examples. Why is it? Right. And that's kind of, that's what I'm, I'm trying to, I'm talking about here is that you share those, that one reason or two reasons why mole is representative that you actually mention it. Okay. Right. How do you prepare it? All right. So maybe two statements or three statements of how you would prepare it. I'm going to talk about this first and then I'm going to talk about this and then I'm going to talk about this. Right. And, and then the images. I'll choose one or two images. I'll choose one image that shows how uh, someone making mole, and I'll choose one image that shows how people present mole on the table or how they, you know, how, it's, how is it presented, as, as an example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand it a little bit more all right and and your other question about the performance um can can you uh can you restate again the question you have about about the video oh um i'm in a group that well we discussed that and they were saying that we have to uh record a video of uh, the persons that choose recipes, food, and culture, um, we have to record a video doing that recipe or food that we choose right here. They were saying that. I don't know if we are going to do that or not. All right. So this the the context for this performance is is a cooking show. Okay, so everyone is going to present a cooking show. And in that cooking show, of course, there's going to be some recipe involved, some kind of food, <clears throat> probably some mention of culture, maybe some mention of fashion or a celebrity or a holiday. But within this cooking show, the idea is to try to link the three topics. Each one of you has your topic, but that you link or tie together or connect these three topics within the presentation of a cooking show. So yes, probably part of your video is going to be the actual making of some type of uh, recipe. But you can decide on... You know, the organization, who's going to present when and how, right, through the, through the, uh, yeah, through the, vis the uh, video presentation. The one way to do it, there are two ways, right? You could um, present one video with all of you in or within the same video, right, presentation, or you could have separate videos that are linked together that you kind of you link kind of a, a video within a video right that's that's also a possibility but the idea is to try to link together in one video your your presentation and you know i would recommend that you try to have that show your, your face in the video at some point that you are makes it more dynamic if we can see your face in the presentation itself. Okay. Yeah. Is that I'm making an idea of okay. what to do, but yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to give you guys some flexibility, right? And these are things that we can talk about. If you want to discuss as a team, 
you know, what your thoughts are about how you want to present before you actually do it, I think that's a good idea. I would recommend everyone doing that. If you're sure about what you want to do, and that's fine, right? Go ahead and do it. But I want to give you guys different options and uh, ways of how you can present your ideas. But the, the idea is to present one video that is a cooking show. That's the context. That's, that's the, really the main way to present this idea. But then within the cooking show, you talk about culture. You talk about maybe a famous person. You can talk about fashion. But try to tie it all together within the con- – it's like you having a conversation with your audience as you're cooking. And like yesterday, I recommend that you go into YouTube and just type in cooking shows and get some ideas about how they organize their ideas, how they present visuals throughout their cooking show, and so on. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, guys. I'm uh, checking the uh, the messages. I, I think the easiest for me, guys, is just to jump in. If you have questions, jump into the general class. Um, I'll continue to try to answer your questions as I as I receive them in the chat. But if for some reason I don't respond. Like right away, feel free to jump into the uh, the main class here and uh, ask away. Okay, I'm going to hang up. Okay. Uh, Daira, I see that you have a question. I'm not sure if you're in the class right now. I'd like to discuss this with everybody. It's a good question. Uh, Yaisha, I see also you have a question, and I would like to discuss this also uh, with everyone. Are you in the class right now? Can you hear me? All right, I'm going to go ahead uh, and present a couple of questions that I'm receiving that I want to share with everyone. They're good questions, and uh, this might clarify others who might have similar questions. Um, the first is, uh, are, are we going to include or are we going to make a video or an audio? And I'm getting a message from Daira right now. Oh, wait just a second. All right, so one question is, do we have to do a cooking show? Yes, I would like everyone to do a cooking show. Uh, The question about doing a video or an audio. So I understand that some of you have challenges with technology and broadband. So one thing I would suggest is to, as we've done in the past, create an online meeting within Microsoft Teams within your respective groups and record that session, okay? uh, As we've done in the past, we've been able to create videos by recording our sessions within Microsoft Teams. So that's certainly one way that you can do that. If broadband is a challenge for you, then you can decide whether or not you can show your video or not. A lot of times when you close the video or you uh, just access the audio part of the uh, of the online class or online session, that oftentimes will help the broadband and help the audio quality. The audio quality is, is more important than the video because obviously I need to hear you. But uh, it's always best to try to um, be able to see your faces as you are presenting, as you're discussing, and that's going to make a better video. But, again, I understand some of you have challenges with that. So do the best that you can. If there, if there are options for some of you to record the video at different locations, maybe where uh, broadband is better, do what you can as a team. Um, but I will accept a video that does not have, does not show your face, all right, if that's the only thing that you can do. But again, I would suggest trying to incorporate video in your, your final uh, video file just because it makes it more dynamic. All right, so hopefully that answers your question, Daira, about whether or not to do a video or an audio. 
the final product should be one video file, right? And uh, that should include all of your uh, aspects of your, your performance. In this case, a cooking show that incorporates the topics of fashion and celebrities and uh, food, of, co of course, culture, and so on. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. And Aisha, I don't know if she's here. She's having problems connecting, but she asks, uh, let's see, are we going to talk about the countries in general, or uh, do we have to include the aspects that we chose? Um, I am not sure if I understand the question. Um, the, the If you're referring to, if you have to choose the aspects that you chose in the Word document... Okay, remember that the Word document is a working document, so that's going to change as you decide as a team, as you decide collectively what you're going to include. So what I'm asking is that once you have made your final decision, both individually and as a team, I'm going to ask everyone to keep this Word document that we're working on this morning, keep that updated so that Ultimately, when you create your final video, what you discuss will be what you talked about or included in the Word document. Okay, at the end of the day, right at the end of the week, when you complete your final video, what you talk about individually should be more or less what's included in the Word documents. The Word document there is for me to help you throughout this week as you keep this document updated, I can see what you're talking about, what you're including. Because again, one of the biggest challenges in doing this type of activity is making sure that you're speaking in greater detail about fewer things. It's always best to try to talk more deeply about less things instead of trying to talk about so many different topics very lightly or just very generally, right? We want to avoid just general discussion. We want to try to get into the specifics of a celebrity, the specifics of a, spe a specific aspect of fashion or uh, a of a holiday, right? So instead of choosing three or four holidays, we choose one and we try to speak in greater detail about that one holiday, maybe how it relates to a person or a food or a recipe or a specific aspect of culture. Culture is a huge topic, so you can't talk about all cultural aspects. It needs to be maybe one or two very specific cultural aspects that link to food, to a specific dish, right? And you're probably going to choose one recipe or one dish that you want to include in your cooking show. And you want to talk as much as you can about the specifics of that food item, of that dish, of that recipe, right? In terms of culture, maybe in terms of a celebrity, maybe in terms of a tradition or a uh, of a holiday. And, you know, don't neglect specific cultural aspects of of you as a as a family as as an individual right so feel free to share personal stories in your uh, talk of culture or or of a tradition maybe you have a family tradition that's slightly different than um, a typical Mexican tradition those are the aspects that would be nice to include in your final performance okay so uh, Yaisha, if you're watching this recording later, if you're not able to uh, access right now the class, um, I hope that answers your question. If it doesn't, of course, uh, reach out to me, and I'll try to clarify your doubts. Let's see. I'm checking my chat for any other questions. Of course, I encourage all of you to jump right in and ask questions if you want to ask i know that you're many of you are in your own session right now so it maybe it's difficult to exit one meeting and come into another but i'll continue checking i'll continue checking my um 
my messages. And I'll go ahead and mute my mic. And um, we'll jump back in if I, we need to clarify any other questions. All right, guys, it is 940, and I think now's a good time to wrap up for today. One of the key aspects of today's activity is for you to try to think specifically about the topics that you want to include in your cooking show. I ask that everybody begin thinking and uploading your ideas in a Word document trying to offer you some feedback one-on-one -on -one before you join your team. I know some of us feel um, that we want to start with working as a team, and I appreciate that. But today I wanted you to consider first receiving feedback from me individually. Think of it like this. Sometimes we get the most out of a meeting when we, when we enter a meeting first doing our homework, maybe checking and, um, you know, being prepared, coming in with something, right? And, of course, during the meeting, the chain, you know, the ideas could change. We don't know exactly what we're going to talk about. But if you can come to a meeting prepared with something, a lot of times you're going to get the most out of the meeting instead of just maybe sometimes starting a meeting. This has happened for me where we've started a meeting and we're all just looking at each other and we're just like, ¿Y qué? ¿Ahora qué? ¿Qué hacemos? Right? We don't know what we're going to do. Right? So it's always best to come to a meeting with something. Right? Obviously with the idea that, okay, I'm willing to take suggestions, receive suggestions from my cl uh, classmates, I know that I also have a voice and I can express my opinion because I know it's going to be appreciated. Also, with my teammates, we work together. But again, a lot of times it's best to have some ideas already in mind. And this was the purpose of working with this document beforehand to also, for me personally as your instructor, to give you some tips, some feedback about how to be specific. One of the hard things about doing this activity, this cooking show, actually is deciding on what to talk about and what not to talk about. So the tendency is to try to talk about too many things. And so one of your challenges is going to be how, to, how do I reduce the topics or how do I... Uh, just talk about a few things, a few really interesting things, but speak more deeply about those aspects. Okay, that's going to be one of your challenges. The second challenge is as you prepare with your team, how to make it conversational. I don't know if you have seen some cooking shows, but it's pretty conversational. They're just, I mean, they're prepared. They know what they're going to talk about. They know what dish they're going to present. They know the ingredients, right? They know a lot of things already as they prepare for the cooking show. But in the moment, they're just chatting. They're talking, right? And so maybe uh, the one person begins preparing some ingredients or talking about ingredients, and then someone else starts talking about some cultural aspect of maybe one of the, the foods that's being used. Right. And so in your case, you might talk about maybe a celebrity that has maybe a link to either some part of the some aspects of the ingredients or the, the dish itself. So you decide how you can make this conversation right um, around your topics engaging for your audience. How do you use visuals to complement what you're talking about? You might even share a story. It could be a story about the person, the famous person that you've chosen. It could be a personal story about yourself. I mentioned, I think, in the chat, you know, some of you might have uh, traditions that are very specific to your family or maybe even to you individually. Maybe some of those traditions are different than the traditional Mexican, um, you know, tradition. And so those are aspects that you can bring to the cooking show, right? Maybe a personal anecdote or a personal story. Just be careful with uh, stories that it doesn't get too long because that's also the, 
the challenge here. You have about five minutes per person to speak in total. So you need to decide on how you want to divide that up and how long a story should take, right? And usually there's an expression in English, keep it short and sweet. That is, just talk about the most important aspects of anything, right? Whether it's a story, whether it's a recipe, whether it's a celebrity, whether you're talking about a tradition or a holiday, don't try to do too much. Don't try to talk about everything under the sun. Talk about the most important and interesting aspects of that particular topic. Okay. Tomorrow, I want to talk a little bit about organization. And maybe your team has not yet talked about organization yet. Maybe you have already started talking about it. Um, but we'll talk a little bit about that tomorrow. I'll give you some time tomorrow again to work on this in class. I'd like for us to try to finish our cooking show for this Friday. This is going to be our performance task for Unit 2. And we want to bring together the topics of Unit 2 into our final presentation. Again, I'm asking everyone to do a cooking show. I'm asking everyone to create a video. But you can choose on the topics... If you, it can be any cultural aspect, any food dish, any celebrity, but do try to connect your topics, you know, throughout your team, right? We want some sort of connection, some sort of uh, tie between these ideas, right? So that your conversation, when you're talking and discussing in your cooking show, that it everything kind of links. Right, that you're transitioning and you're linking your ideas around some common idea, some common connector, some common uh, aspect. All right. Finally, as you're preparing, try to avoid scripts. Don't write out anything. Okay. Don't write out any scripts, I should say. Okay. Scripts are the actual words that you're going to say. You can write out ideas. You can use images, maybe even a presentation to help prompt you to discuss something. But uh, we want this, again, conversational. We want it to be a conversation between the three or four of you, between your teammates. And if you can do that, it's going to be more engaging. It's going to be more entertaining. And it's going to be more uh, uh, in, uh, just interesting for your target audience. The last thing I'll mention here, I shared a link to what's called a B-roll. If you're not familiar with what a B-roll is, take a look at the video. It's just a fancy word uh, that you can use to show an image over someone speaking. Okay, and there's a lot of different ways. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be really technical. Many of you are already have already done this in your first video, but... I want you to pay close attention to how B-rolls can really add a lot to your, in this case, your cooking show and your video presentation. All right, guys. Any questions about what we've done today uh, with our performance task for me, Unit 2? Me, me. Yes, go ahead. I just have two things to um, say. Um, first, it is... It is a problem if like each member of my team just like do one video, like for example, um, my one of the team members is Diana. If Diana grab like record her part and then I record my part like aparte and just like um, juntarlo. And how will you join them together? Como? How will, if you do the videos individually, how will you tie them together? How will you, uh, how will you present your final product? Um, I think that the, the um, how do you say, <laughs> the topic that we choose and what everyone is going to talk about has like relation. But what I mean is, like, what I'm going to ask everyone, every team member, is to 
uh, provide one video, one file, one video file. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my question to you is if you're going to do individual videos, how will you bring those together into one video file? That's my question. Oh, um, I have an app in my cell phone that can do that. Okay, so... Uh, I am not, uh, that's fine if you want to work, if you want to do it that way. Um, the, the thing I want, want you to re remember is to try again to tie these together and that, you know, personally, I think that if you can create a video just as you've done in the past, recording an online session in Microsoft Teams and you prepare for it and you share your screen and you have your video, uh, I think you're going to have a better performance. That's what I would suggest doing. If you guys are having problems with technology, I'll accept you know, uh, bringing together individual videos that you've created on your own from your home and you brought together. I'll accept that. Um, but again, I think it would be if you have an internet connection – that you that is more or less stable and basically what we're doing every day in class um, if you're able to have a good audio with that I would suggest doing it that way but the main thing that I want is one video for for the entire you know cooking show in this case and I, I think it's almost a challenge I'm just trying to think conceptually how to create a cooking show if each one of you is going to be doing an individual file. But you you decide, and uh, I'll accept, you know, I'll try to be flexible here in how you present your, your final product. But I would suggest first that you talk about it again with your team, and I would like to have a conversation with your team before you decide on how you want to create it so that I can try to talk you out of doing that, to yeah. try to find you some options, uh, no, different no options. Problem. Yeah. And another thing, last thing, um, I don't know if my um, my friend Monte <laughs> is right now in the in the call, but she told me that her internet is like um, I don't know, it's failing <laughs> right now. So if if she is right now not in the call, it's it's for that. Okay, um, that's fine, guys. And you know, I appreciate you reaching out to me and letting me know if you have some issues. If you are, <clears throat> if you're not able to stay in the whole class, you know, all the whole class. I mean, that that's fine. I mean, I I I take attendance and the attendance keeps track of when you come in and when you come out. And so in terms of attendance, if you're in for, and, I'll, and I'm speaking openly here, if you're in the class for two seconds, you get, you're not going to be counted absent, okay? I'm not going to count you absent. What I expect, and, and you don't even have to, to tell me necessarily that you're only in for two seconds, right? I am going to assume that all of you know that all of the classes, unless technology dies, right, that all the classes are going to be recorded. And I'm going to expect that all of you are going to access those recordings as you need to. So if you miss part of the class, just check out the recording. And then, of course, ask me if you have questions. But I'm going to ask respectfully to all of you that if you miss class, that you check out the recording before you ask uh, the question, right? Because maybe the question has already been answered in the class, right? So, um, but uh, I appreciate you guys reaching out to me if you have problems and if, if you have issues that interfere with the overall participation in the class, I want to know about it. But I want to stress the importance of you communicating with your teammates and and working together and saying, look, okay, 
you know, right now in class, our internet connection's horrible. Can we meet at three o'clock this afternoon when my internet's better? And can we record the class or, or can we record our cooking show at, at three o'clock today instead of during class? Is that okay with everybody? If everybody agrees, right, that you make those decisions together and try to be patient with each other and then also be flexible, but also communicate and let each other know. It's not just letting me know. Sometimes, in fact, most of the time, it's more important that you you tell your classmates, your teammates, hey, I couldn't get into class today. I'm going to check out the recording. Um, can, can you help me this afternoon? Or can we get together later? Or can we get together tomorrow in class? Or, or whatever. Just communicate with each other about you know, what's going on and some of the challenges that you're facing because that this is just part of working online. And I, I accept that, but I also want to stress the importance of just communicating, right? Whether it's an email or a chat in Microsoft Teams or, or asking me in class or whatever. Okay. Uh, any other questions, guys? We're almost out of time, but I, I want to spend time with the, if anybody has questions about what we're doing for this performance task. Any other doubts? Yeah, me, teacher. Yes. Uh, me and my team were, were talking about uh, how we going to do the the final task. And we uh, we were saying like, uh, divide the video <laughs> in two parts. But now that you say that we can record the live session, uh, I think like we can do that. But uh, we said like to do a cooking show, we were we are going to do a, a recipe. I don't know how to say it. A recipe. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Recipe. Un, un, uh, sí, un pie. Vamos a hacer un pie. Entonces, uh, uh, we were saying like one of us can do the beginning of the recipe and then the other one. Uh, bueno, donde la otra se quedó. Mm -hmm. O sea, hacer como una parte de la receta y donde la otra se quedó, la otra continúa y así mm -hmm. hasta terminar con la receta. Y mientras hacemos eso, pues hablar de lo que vamos a hablar. Y estábamos hablando de eso de dividir el video en tres partes y ponerlo en el sway, pero pues si lo tenemos que hacer así como todo junto, pues sí lo podemos hacer así, ¿no? <risa> ok, pero... so, en, en, yeah, what, and tomorrow I want to spend some time talking about, I want to give you some options, guys, about ways that you can organize your, your, your ideas. And, and uh, Fernanda, your, your comments, a lot of the things what you're saying is, per, is fine. And these are the things that I want to work with each of your teams to, to decide on. I've, I'm, I've kind of presented different ways about the sway, and I'm not trying to confuse you guys, but I want to give you some some options without trying to be confusing. So the best way to do that, I think, is tomorrow I will present some options, some some ideas, some ways that you can organize, okay? And then I would like for you guys to talk about it as a team, and then I think it's going to be helpful if we meet your team and, and we meet together and we just reach, we have one more conversation before you decide on how you want to create the, the video so that, that we're all kind of in agreement on what's best for your topic and, um, you know, how you want to present your ideas, okay? So I know we're almost out of time here. I don't want to interfere with your next class. Tomorrow, we'll start off talking about organization. I'll give you some options, and we'll have some time to discuss it individually as a team uh, to, again, just to clarify how you want to present. Because, again, I want to give you guys some flexibility in how you want to, to present. All right? Yes. So, okay. All right, guys. It's uh, almost 10 o'clock. We'll go ahead and close class today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll continue working on this task tomorrow. And um, uh, if you have doubts tomorrow, we'll have plenty of time, I think, to address those questions. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you, Tichy. Bye. Thank you, Bye. 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 Bye